icon. Hey Dallas, congratulations on your book, The Awesome Book of Love. Thank you so much. How exciting is it to see yet another one of your great works in publication? It's super exciting. It's kind of the most exciting thing. So go to the place where you are like, not only am I going to create an awesome book, but I'm going to make it about love. Um, yeah, I really wanted to, uh, you know, address the idea of love. I think it's a, it's a big, powerful, magic idea that we're all surrounded with every day. And especially with kids, sometimes you get this energy that the, the idea of love is like gross or icky or something that we shouldn't talk about. And so I really just wanted to embrace it and run with it and share it with everyone. Well, you've been called the modern day Dr. Zeus. What, when you hear that, what does that make you feel? Uh, it's, it's a pretty big, those are pretty big shoes to fill. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm flattered by that term. I think it's a, it's, it's, it's a pretty heavy, heavy, heavy weight, but uh, that dude's amazing. Well, let's talk about some of the things that I found amazing as we were researching you. It has to be pretty cool that Justin Timberlake call, is a big fan of yours. Um, yeah, it's it's weird. I have a lot of fans that I that uh, surprise me from time to time. It's it's always interesting to get, you know, written about somewhere or put up somewhere, or you run into someone at a party and suddenly they're they're a fan of yours when you've known who they were for most of your life. You know, well, that's pretty cool. Now, is your creative zone? When I heard that you don't don't own a sofa, but like <laughs> fifty pillows to lay in. Is that where you get creative? Yeah, I like to try to be outside as much as possible. And so uh, I like when I'm at my house, I like there to be everything around me, something that I use, you know, something that I can touch or that I can make something out of or something that I can create with. So, yeah, having having pillows instead of a couch definitely makes things more uh, more life affirming for me. <laughs> Now, one of the things you handed out earlier in your life, and, and if you can explain it to all of us, I think it has a cool name, a zine? Oh, zines, yeah. Uh, zines, all right. Yeah, that's like, uh, when I first moved to LA, I would just uh, write these kind of like little short stories and just go to shows and clubs and art galleries and sell them to people. And that's kind of how I got started writing, just making stuff and sharing it with people. So the books are well, kind of a continuation of that same idea, you know? That is awesome. What does your son think of all this great works that you do? He's really stoked. I think it's cool because he wasn't he wasn't born into a world where I was a really successful children's book author. He's kind of seen it from the beginning, from the idea of drawing to printing to shipping to publishing deals, like the whole thing. And so it's it's really cool to have that sense of, uh, you know, the reward that comes with loving something that you do. Now, I would love to have a dad that used the word cool and stoked. I'm just curious, did you learn those words when you moved to L.A., or did you have them in your arsenal beforehand? Yeah, they're handing them out at the airport here. You get, uh, you get a pair of shades and a skateboard, and then they take your shirt away, and you just pretty much from there, it's just like a David Lee Roth video for the rest of your time here. That's awesome. <laughs> What, what is it about children's book? You do so much from poetry to, I, I hope you start singing someday because you have such a connection with words. I, but what is it about children's book that seems to even bring out another level of awesome in you? Um, they're just really fun. I mean, you're writing for an audience that's pretty unencumbered by the rules of life and what you should and shouldn't do. So you, you can kind of, you know, take things as, as wild or as free as you want them to be. I, I, I hope that someday uh, I, I learn to sing and, and, then, and then I can share, share those songs with you. But until that day comes, I'm, I'm uh, relegated to the world of poetry and books. Well, this is a great book for kids to read, not only for parents to read to kids, but what's the lesson of love you want parents to know today? Um, I mean, I think it's important to not, sometimes when I go read at schools and stuff, I run into kids that, that kind of are in that world where love is icky, you know, love is gross or love is something you don't talk about because it's associated with kissing maybe. Um, but I, I, I think that we should get as far away from that concept as possible. I think you should embrace it. It's, it's ultimately the essence of life. It's, it's more than likely what brought most of us here. And so, you know, really just embracing that idea of sharing sharing the things that you care about, the things that inspire you, that, that fill you with love. And, and Dallas, I know you're a proud father. What's the best part about being a dad? 
Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess just waking up every day and realizing that there's something out there that's bigger than you, you know, contributing to the collective whole of the universe and, and, and watching something that you care about grow and change. Well, I'll, I'm a big guy, but I'm going to use the word. We love you, Dallas. Thanks, Con. Love you, too.